I'm jamming along to the hold music. still on hold, not still on hold from yesterday, but I've been on hold for 40 minutes to the UK tax office, still can't get through to them. So what I'm doing, I'm jamming along to the hold music. I'd highly recommend doing this. Uh, one of the, my favourite tricks when I get um, telemarketing calls uh, is to give them a low B flat. Always tends to do the trick, they don't tend to call back. So whilst it's obviously humorous to jam along to hold music, it's actually not a bad idea to try and incorporate more of what you hear checking the microphones on more of what you hear in an everyday life into your music practice so for example <laughs> and immediately think G minor concert, A minor on tenor, okay? You know, you've got that minor triad, so you immediately know, with, oh, that sounds like the Apple text message alert, or it sounds like this particular thing, and therefore you start to be able to piece things together a bit easier. So when you're transcribing, or when you're working on anything else, it starts to become part of your, you know, your normal day. What, you know, what pitch is your car horn at? You know, can you sing it back? Can you then memorise it and then play it? It's often, you know, it's one of those dark art things I've spoken about in other vlogs where people think, oh my goodness, you can hear what that is, you must have perfect pitch, you must be able to do this. It's just part of being a musician, you know, you can figure it out, you're just going to spend enough time with the instrument. And one of the things I'm always saying to my students is, I'm always trying to make you a musician who plays the saxophone. And what I mean by that is all of us have thousands and thousands of melodies inside of here, whether you're a musician or not, they're in here. Um, what the skill is, is to try and get them out of the instrument. So one of the things I'm always talking about to people, you know, master classes and, you know, on my beginner's course on Cambridge Saxophone, which you can get by the link below, is to just play simple melodies. So let's go to this, the scale of E flat major. <laughs> Try that now. Pause this video. Pause me. Pause me. If you've got a saxophone in your hands, go and play that. Or happy birthday to you in the key of A flat. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday. Just finished my Wednesday email. If you're not on the list, head below to the uh, full free saxophone lesson link at cambridgesaxophone.com. Get the full free saxophone lessons and get on my email list, my Wednesday email. Try and share you something I'm uh, reading, something I'm watching, and something I'm listening to. Uh, and I've done that, but I've just come outside because I've got a slight break. Uh, my mum is coming down on the train today, but the light is lovely, and I realised I haven't shot any drone footage outside in my garden, essentially. Uh, in the winter, so it um, be nice to get some winter footage, especially with some winter sun as well.
for me there's always something really nice about the first crocuses of the spring even though it's still January just those first flowers you know coming through after the winter really special So my mum's arrived nice and safely, I'm sure you can understand I'm not going to be doing an awful lot of vlogging but I just wanted to very quickly go over uh, some Q&As or just some comments that have come up on uh, the previous videos. Um, that last video I did about just don't bother with reeds. Oh yeah, there's one thing to get saxophone players animated about, it's reeds isn't it? So lots and lots of you be commenting on different things that you use. A number of you saying that you love your Legere reeds, that's great, that works for you, that's fantastic, doesn't work for me. Um, Sax Spice says try Reed Geek if you haven't already, I have to use a Reed Geek, I've got one that sits in my case, like it, but as I'm just saying, I, my main point was, I don't want to spend a lot of time prepping and organising reeds, I just want to get reeds out of a box that play really well and what's worked for me has been, so far, the Daddario Select Jazz. Dave was talking about the Rejuvenate, yes there's Rejuvenate videos up here, I used the Rejuvenate for a number of years, I've gone back to the standard Rico ones because I found the Rejuvenate, maybe it was the way I was using it, it just, the reeds didn't last as long as they do when they're in uh, the Rico case, um, or Daddario, whatever you want to call it, but basically for me I don't know, maybe I was over soaking the reeds and the reeds even I did enjoy. Bill, you keep talking about cults, I'm not sure what you're getting at there. Uh, Joanne Peeler was talking about, she's heard that hydrogen peroxide rinse for about 30 minutes. Uh, Stan Getz, not the obvious one, the one, says Seamus Blake went through 60 reeds to find one to record on. I've heard that from a lot of people before. Um, and a lot of people start to really get obsessive about reeds, and it's what I've said before when I was talking about ligatures, you know, in terms of marginal gains, and I get it. What I'm getting at is, if you are short of time, which most of us are, I know I am right now, um, you want to be able to spend as much time on the horn as you've got, not spend that time searching around for a reed all the time. Um, and that's where I'm at the minute. I want a good set of reeds that enable me to lick it, stick it on the saxophone, off it plays. At other times in my life, I've spent hours, and I maybe, and I hope I will, get to that stage where I can spend hours prepping my reeds, getting the perfect reed back again. Now is not the time I've, I've got to do it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Don't forget to check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you really, really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.